Hi, I'm Brittany with County Systems, and today we're going to be working with Solapix art glass panels. And they come in various sizes. Today we're going to do a basic mural using modular glass pieces. And the modular glass is really just referring to this edge. And when we come to do a mural, we'll be using hinges. It's important that we use the modular glass as opposed to like a bevel glass. So these are the panels we're going to be using. This is a 12 by 12. We're going to do a real simple one with just two panels. You can make these as large and as customized as you would like. We have a really cool one outside in the lobby that's very tall. And these glass panels just really make a whole new art when they have the different graphics on them. So I went ahead and I already pressed one. We're going to press another panel and then we'll assemble. I have my image we're going to display. You'll notice that it's not mirrored because it is glass, so we're going to be able to have a non-mirrored image and we'll just attach our glass like so. I have some heat tape. I brought a little flathead screwdriver for attaching my hinges. You're going to want some kind of heat gloves because the glass itself, it's hot and it stays hot. It's going to be in the press for quite a while. I have a green rubber pad and a couple sheets of protective paper. Getting back to our glass and our image, let's go ahead and line it up and we're going to secure it down with our heat tape. And our glass, one of the things you'll want to note is that we are going to do the frosted side. This is a tempered glass, so we're going to have our clear glass side face up. It's going to be just kind of the way that you're going to look directly at the picture. Lining it up isn't so hard to do. The glass kind of holds itself in place. We're just going to put a couple pieces of heat tape, make sure that it doesn't shift when we go to move to our press. And other than the time being a little bit longer for these glass panels, they create a really, really nice product. Now that I have my heat tape in place, we're going to move to our press. Excited to press the glass pieces. I think they make a really cool look when they're all assembled together. First thing I'm going to do is make sure that I have my paper out. We're going to align the bottom of our press first. And then I'll take my glass. I'm going to flip it so that my image is face down. Always make sure, especially when working with glass, that you go ahead and you adjust your pressure first because it is, you are able to crack it if you apply too heavy of a pressure. Place another sheet of protective paper on the top. And to help us with applying our pressure and making sure our glass does not break, we're going to be using this green heat conductive rubber pad. And this is going to create a nice even look too when we go to press. All right, you'll want to refer to condi.com for your current and latest instructions with what's going to work with your equipment when it comes to adjusting your time, temperature, and pressure. We're going to give this a few minutes and we'll be able to see our really nice product when it's done. And that sound means we're done. So let's lift and swing away on our press. We're going to remove our green rubber pad and top sheet of protective paper. What we're going to try to ultimately do is just remove the transfer itself as quickly as possible and then we're going to let it have time to cool so we'll find a nice cool flat surface for our glass to cool down and it will take several minutes just because it has been in our press for a little while so let me transfer this down to the table for our cool flat surface and once it's cooled down we'll be able to assemble our mural now that our glasses had time to cool I went ahead and I assembled one side of my hinge. This is very easy to do. Again, we're using modular glass panels. So what I'm going to do is I will slide in my other piece of glass with my hinge. And it's very easy to take a little flathead screwdriver and just kind of tighten up the panels. And this is a basic little two panel. We have different hinges available if you're going to do a larger mural. But once we have our hinges in place, we'll be able to have our picture stand up on its own. We just finished with the hinge on our panels, and now that we have our final product, you can tell just how beautiful it turned out. 
These are really popular right now with the photography industry. And you'll want to be sure to check out more of our videos. We're going to be working with beveled glass and building murals with these types of panels. For all of our tips and products, be sure to check out Condi.com and watch more of my videos at ConditV.com. I'm Video Condi Systems, and thank you for joining us.